Hey guys, what's up? This is LJS here and finally, after one whole week of wait, my trial bags have finally, finally, finally arrived. Sorry guys for the delay, this video was supposed to be up last week but there were some issues with my um, shipment, my address errors and all that stuff and stuff happened but anyways, it's finally here. So this, all these three trial bags are finally here and now it's time for the box opening. For those of you who, know, who don't know, I'll be giving away these uh, trial boxes in a giveaway. In my 100 subs giveaway video, go check that out if you haven't checked it out. There's still about 3 more days for you to apply and have a chance to win on one of this deck proper. So go check it out. So yeah, so let's get to the unboxing of all these awesome trial decks. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. Okay, so for now, I'll be unboxing the trial deck. For Link Joker, Will of the Lock Dragon, Legion or Solitary Souls. So for those of you who are new, Trial Deck is basically a pre-construction deck which is pretty cheap, ten pounds around or ten dollars around there, uh, where you can get a fully built deck to try, as the name says, Trial Deck to try Vanguard, or for those of you who sort of know Vanguard to try a new clan. So this is the Link Joker Trial Deck, yeah, cool, and it introduced. This is one of the, one of the three Trial Decks in English that just released last week to introduce to the idea of Legion. So yeah, so those of us, so yeah, it's a good place to learn Legion. So let's open it. Let's see what is inside this trial deck. What cards are, let's, how does this help beginners? And what cards are useful for people who are veterans who want to upgrade their own Link Joker decks? Box done. So you have your typical plastic casing for your trial deck. Open a tape. Remove the tape, remove the backing, and you have your bundle of paper for learning stuff. Then you have your deck, which is nicely still in this really tight plastic. L gone are the days of just having a plastic sheet covering the plastic band, call it. Now you have a proper casing, which is nice. So let's get this out of the way. Let's go to the paper first before we go to the nice good stuff of the, of the deck. So first, you have your starter guide. So if you're new, read this first. This is the first thing you need to read. It teaches you how to play. Teaches you the thingy, card, skills, blah blah blah. Part 2, open up. Part 2, you have how to play a game. The, ah, let's fold it into the booklet first. Yeah, there you go. You have this, so it teaches you the order of the game, the, the field, call, right, attacking, guarding, and all that stuff. Yeah, so read this. If you want to read, if you want to know more about the rules, read this playbook. It has, if you're bored, Nothing else to do, just read this. It's full of words about the game. Full, comprehensive, comprehensive rules. Then you have your typical playmat, paper playmat, but I have my own nice rubber playmat. Yeah. Paper playmat, which is nice because it has labels of the dead mid zone, everything. So for those of you who are beginners who are new to the game, it's very it's a good place to start. And I like I like this little little nifty thing called the turn order. So those of you who can't remember the order of turns, this is very good for beginners. And for those of you who have friends who want to play a game, if you have any of the spare of this mat, let them use this. It's a very good thing. If it's a very good thing to refer to, the back you have um, in information about the new products as well as the new Legion uh, mechanic, as well as how it shall, how as well as some of the key cards in all these trial decks that you want, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So for those of you who started recently, you're you're or right now, you're in you came in at the right time, it's a new mechanic coming out, and you don't have to you don't need to waste time learning the other mechanic and you can come straight into the Legion era. How do you open this? What? Uh, there we go. Peel. Open open and here you have the Link Joker cards. So, the cover card is Star Rider Garnet Star Dragon, which is a pretty generic legion, I would say, for Link Joker. So his skill is, when you legion, you can choose one of your opponent's front row and back row and lock it. So it's, it's similar to the uh, break right for, of Infinite Zero Dragon, where you lock two units, one front, one back. So the moment you legion, doom, legion, you get, which I'll show later, you can lock one front, one back row. And it's a pretty nice hollow. Oh yeah, this is nice. 
it's very nice. So like with like with the other two products I've done earlier, um, the Great Three Legion is a very splashable card. And for those of you who are sort of on budget, you can just throw chuck him in into any of the Legion decks or even old decks as an upgrade. Because he kind of he really helps with locking units, and he's not he's not limited to late game like the break right was. So yeah, just write him Legion Lock Two. Pretty nifty, I guess. Pretty good. Yeah, and very shiny and nice. Very shiny as well. So next, next victory we have is four of the very generic Counter Blast 1 to gain 3k. So when he attacks, Counter Blast 1, he gains 3k. Useless card in uh, good decks, but good card to learn how to play Vanguard. Because it teaches you of how to use Counter Blast 1, and it teaches you about gaining power as well as potentially to teach you about magic numbers. Yay. Next we have two of the uh, Vanilla Legion. So... Uh, he's the vanilla. His skill is just when he attacks, he swings for twenty five k when in legion. So it's, he gains five k when he attacks when you in, when you in legion. And he's also a twelve k uh, rearguard attacker. So if he's rearguard, he swings for twelve k. So yeah, also pretty good for teaching people about legion. But he has no skills besides the killing five k. And then you have four of the ten k vanilla. So this is the mate of the ten k uh, legion vanilla. There you go, looks nice. Oh yeah. Actually this looks pretty cool. Yeah. This Ling Joker art looks badass. That's why I like Ling Joker. That's why Ling Joker is my main clan. The art is awesome. So yeah, four of the four of the uh vanilla. And here we have what I consider the star of the deck. This card is very good. Very, very good for Ling Joker. So he will be a staple in most, if not all, Ling Joker cards. His skill is this is awesome. When this unit is placed on R, if you have a Star Raider Vanguard, okay, basically, basically, sorry, Star Raider decks, all Star Raider decks should run him. And this is the card everyone should. You can okay, get this trial deck for this card. So when you when you okay, when this unit is placed on Rigga Circle, if you have a Star Raider Vanguard and if your opponent has a lock unit, choose another lock card. Choose another card and lock it. So he really helps Link Jokers accelerate the locking because. When your opponent has one or more lock card, just call him out, lock another unit. Very good. Very, very good. He, I can see him being very useful in Omega Glendos. Because Omega Glendos will end is a bit, I would say, not very not very viable. But with him, will end can happen very consistently. So all you need to do is just break right the dumb stadium, lock three, call him, lock another one, call another re uh, reverse unit, lock another one, five locks. Omega lock, five Omega locks, you win for Omega Glendos. And for any other future cards, it's useful. For Chaos Breaker, it's also useful. You get you get an additional lock. For future Legion cards, also very useful. Staple card must have for Link Jokers. Then you have your um, typical 12k attacker for Star Raiders. So if your Vanguard has Star Raider in his card name, this guy swings for 12k. So he is a reprint. In the past, there's another um, art. So this is an alternate art because now he is a mate. So the Legion, the Legion Master will be in set 16, I think. So you'll see how the other half looks like when that unit comes out. Sorry, when that booster comes out. Um, also a pretty stable card. A good attacker. Swings for 12k. In case, so you don't need a booster to hit vanguards. Next you have two of the uh, 12k attacker. Oh, what is this? Oh, the 12k attacker for Legion. So when, when your vanguards in Legion, he swings for 12k. Yeah. 8k base though. Then you have four of the generic, uh, what's it called? 10k interceptor, so basically he intercepts for 10k shield instead of 5k shield. But, but he's an 8k base. So he's useful for uh, beginners who want to play tanky, but no one no one runs them in an actual full deck. Next we have 4 of the satellite mirage. So basically when you call him out, if your opponent has 2 or more lock cards, you can discard a card and draw a card. So he is the uh, typical, what I call, card cycler. And yeah, it's just useful for set setting up your drop zone early. Basically, these card cards you don't need to hopefully draw cards you need. But the thing is, the requirement is a bit restrictive because you need to have locked cards to be able to use the skill base. So uh, she's kind of meh. Yeah. Anyways, next we have four of these uh, generic 7k base, counter blast 1 to gain 1k. X skill though, so it stacks. So you can counter blast 3 to gain 3k if you want to. Next, you have the 10k attacker for Star Raider. So if your Vanguard is Star Raider, he swings for 10k. 
So sweet for 10k attack. And he's also a reprint, so previously there's another art. Although I think this art is nicer, because the previous art, I honestly, I find, I find the previous art of him looks weird. This art is nicer, I'll run him. But or I'll actually I'll run the SP version, yeah. Then you have two of the 10k booster for um, Legion, so yeah. Then you have, ooh, this starter also has skills, interesting. So I guess newer Chardex, uh, Bushiroad is now popping up newer Chardex with starters that are decent, unlike the stupid vanilla of the Seeker Chardex and all the Prust Chardex. So his skill is uh, 4 runner when you ride on him, call him out to rear guard. When this unit boosts, if you have, if your opponent has two lock cards, he boosts for 8k. The thing is, uh, for Liberators, they have a similar card as well, but this is worse than Liberator because Liberator, um, as long as you have four or more Liberators, he swings for 8k. But he requires your opponent to have two lock cards to swing for 8k, so he's worse because you probably only get lock. For this product alone, you can only lock once actually because the only unit that locks is this guy. And the thing is, this product is a bit funny because his requirement to lock requires you to lock something. But he is, is the he is the mate of your locker in this deck. So the only thing he can lock is this guy. And if you lock him, you can't use him to lock anything else. And if you don't use him, you can't use him. So this product is a bit weird. <laughs> so funny. And this guy can only probably boost for 8k for one turn. So it's quite useless. So... Unless of course you buy multiple of these trial decks and you you fuse them into one deck, then he is more useful. But yeah, don't use him. Use some other better starter for your future decks. Uh, four crit, typical. Oh, new crits. This looks. This look. This look. This look beastly, man. Four crits. Uh, four draws. Nah, new draw, but guy. I rather run the girl draw. Nah. Four stands, oh this is like alligator. And four heels. Ooh, nice. Another fairy girl thingy. Okay, I'll run two of this and two of the other girl heel triggers. Oh yeah. So yeah, so this is the trial deck for Link Joker for the new Legion era. So this deck I would say is quite useful to teach you how to play. But if you buy one alone, I would say it's a bit weird because as I mentioned earlier, these two cards don't quite synergize well because it's only one copy of each and if you use these guys with legion this guy is gone so this guy still can't be used to lock anything else because he is the only guy in this whole deck that locks and he only locks if you legion and if you legion you can't use this guy to lock anything else you see the, that, that dilemma so this deck alone is not very useful alone but let's say if you buy two or three you can probably have a pretty decent link joker legion deck for those of you who are new to the game or have a low budget. But for those of you who play Lane Joker, this deck is important for this card. This is the MVP of this deck. This deck, this card is so good and you definitely need him because he is also going to be a mate of a, some other cards in the future. And this is going to be a, this is definitely going to be a staple card in every Lane Joker deck. So in every Star Raider deck that I can foresee. He is a special card, you can probably use him in quite a few, a few other decks. As a sort of um, backup grade 3, I guess, if you on a low budget. But yeah. So yeah, so this is the Link Joker Strike Guide. Starter is rubbish. You can only use it once. Unless, of course, you have a full proper deck, then this is more useful. But if you just use this starter in this one deck alone, it's quite useless. But yeah, so Triple R is this. Your Double R Holo is this too, which is pretty interesting. Circular Holo. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think you can see it. Anyways, yeah. So this has been LGS, and this is my unboxing of the Will of the Lock Dragon. I am a Lane Joker player, so this deck, I'm definitely going to, I'm looking forward to it. This guy is an MVP. I love him. He's so good. He's so, 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 so good. Anyways, this is going to be LGS. Thanks for watching. And also, please check out the 100 subs giveaway, because you have a chance to win this trial deck. Yay, for free. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.